Hey everyone, it's Kelsey, aka Real with Mrs. B. And oh my gosh, I have a ton of transactions to put in. So I saved them all on a sticky note so I could go through them with you guys. And I gotta tell you, um, that's not how I usually do things, obviously. I usually go into everydollar.com like every other day and put in transactions. Instead, I've been saving it on the sticky note so I can show you how to put the transactions in. So hopefully you appreciate this. I don't know how much I can do this in the future because it does get a little confusing in my mind, like how much l I have left in these categories. So hopefully it all works out. So let's start from the top and hopefully go as quickly as I can. So first off, my husband spent a dollar out of work to get something who knows, a drink or something. And that was on the 21st. Gonna go down to John's personal money. And I'm just gonna put grand. That's uh, where he got it at work. All right, next up, John's car, 2052. I'm just gonna copy that paste it here. That was also on the 21st. I just like to keep track of whose car it was just to see how much gas we're putting in in each vehicle. And done. All right, next up, my husband spent $6.85 to get some drinks. I'm actually gonna put this in his personal money because I told him not to get some. <laughs> So, let me say where it's from, and scroll down to John's personal money, done. Alright, next up, I went grocery shopping last weekend at Aldi and Pick and Save, where if you watched my grocery haul, I said that I knew that I went over how much I was supposed to spend. Shame on me. All right, and actually I have to put this in two different categories because some of it was groceries and some of it was household supplies. All right. So if I remember correctly, it was $39.83 for groceries and then the rest here the $8.44 for household supplies. I needed to um, get new cookie sheets because the one that we had was disgusting and Aldi had a three pack for only $7.99 so that was an awesome deal. It was weird. I find it weird that Aldi always has something on sale like when I'm just thinking about getting something new. You know what I mean? All right, anyway, pick and save also the same day, the 21st, I'm going to put in pick and save, all right, and down to groceries, and you can see I went a bit over, so I will correct that at the end. Next up, I spent... Oh my goodness, what's happening? Okay. $16.93 on some cat supplies. And I didn't have like any money left in that category. So I just used the debit card because I knew I was going to put a certain amount towards cats anyway, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so if you saw my um, my cash envelope video, you'll see that I didn't take out $60 then to put in the cash envelope. All right, next up is um, my husband picked up a bottle of liquor for a our brother-in-law for his birthday. So that's what that is. And I want to put it under gift money. down in a cash envelopes. All right, done. Next one, my husband got a $1 coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. 
I love their dark roast iced coffee. It's amazing. And it's only $1 between 2 and 6 so that's pretty much any time that we ever get coffee. I'm going to also put this under John's personal money because we went over in restaurant money. Next up, my automatic payment for student loans came out. I have a minimum payment of $119.38. Came out about that date. Um, if you pay your minimum payment, like schedule it each month, you get like a reduced rate of interest by like 0.25% or something. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. All right, and then we went to Walmart and got a couple household supplies. What date was that? 25th. Put Walmart here. Go down to household supplies. And you can see I went over there too. This is terrible. But I will make up for it. I will not be over. I'll show you. All right, pick and save. I forgot that I was the person supposed to make a snack for our department on last week, Thursday. So I had to run to the store to pick up some items. So actually, if you saw my last video, my mid month or I mean, um, my last budget video, I got a refund of 1894 some stuff I spent for school right here and I had actually put that towards debt instead of putting it back into the same category in which I spent it in so I moved it back to school supplies because then I spent some to get some um, groceries to make a snack for our department all right my husband also got another drink for work and that's gonna go under his personal money all right we're getting through these oops that's my <laughs> lesson planning all right 11 33 and that was on the 26. And some of that was drinks and some was school. So I'm going to divide it up, click on both categories. And it was 650 on drinks and then the leftover is 483. Next up, automatic payment for Time Warner Cable. It's always the same. That was on the 27th. So I'm not going to put in like where it came from because this is the only thing in this category. And it must have went by. There it is. All right. Done. Next one. My husband purchased something for himself for 1052. That was on the 28th. See, this isn't so bad. This seems like a lot, but um, if you do this every couple of days like I normally do, it doesn't it's not really that time consuming. It feels good. It really does. Alright. I'll come back to the cash envelopes and do the rest of this first. So filling up gas in my car. So one morning last week, Friday, um, I was getting on the freeway and where we are, they have construction on the freeway and it goes down from like three lanes to two, like right away. And I was waiting to merge because there's always a lot of traffic in the morning and my car just died on the freeway. And I thought maybe there was something wrong with my fuel gauge and I ran out of gas. I was freaking out. But um, I turned off my car and turned it back on again and it worked. But I was too afraid that I was going to break down again on the freeway. So I got off 
and I went to the gas station and filled up weirdly for seven seventy seven if you could see and I made it to work like with only a couple minutes before the kids were arriving for class so that was a scary morning but that's why that's a weird amount because um, I just filled up super quickly I didn't have time to wait for it to fill up all the way <laughs> all right and then we binged a little bit and went to Culver's a couple times because we signed up for a buy one get one and that was on the 29th oh man we look like fatties <laughs> getting Culver's and then we got Culver's again today it's so bad so bad all right I will correct that too um, Red Bull, did you guys sign up and get that refund of money for the lawsuit? Well, we did, and we got paid out once before, and this is the second time. So, and actually, I think that's supposed to say four. It's supposed to say four twenty, because it was two ten each. And I know I put that in on Saturday. So this is income, I'm gonna put it under other and I will come back and correct that to make my plan the same. And then I got paid, yay, payday. I still get excited for payday even though all my money goes away like right away. <laughs> all right, that was kind of like yesterday. All right. We're almost there. And then Culver's again today. Culver's is so good. Do you guys have a Culver's by you? We're in Wisconsin, so Culver's is like the best burgers around. Expensive, but they're good. And it was worth it because I've been grading like crazy. All right, and then because it's the end of the month and we had leftover money in our gas fund, um, I told my husband to go fill up, and then I filled up as well just to, you know, have it. So that's my car. And then lastly, John's car. Gas is pretty cheap right now, so that's nice. It went down to 202. I don't know what it's by you guys. Please let me know below. All right. I'm going to come back with our envelopes. All right. I wrote down all the stuff for our envelopes. So this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on all of our envelopes. Now I have our envelopes in a separate category. However, you could have them as savings accounts. I will warn you that if you do that on everydollar.com, that whatever you say you're going to put into a savings account, it assumes that you're going to do so. You don't ever put a transaction for it. So you just have to be really on top of it that you don't forget to do that. All right. So for car maintenance, we put in 102 for health and dental. I'm actually going to come back to that. And cats, we did 45. For entertainment, we did 50. For beauty and clothing, 20. For gift money, we did 130, Amazon Prime 10, Computer 50, Xbox Live 10. Okay, and then I'm actually going to take this out because I'm going to come back to it. Why did that just take away? That's weird. Okay. All right. So I took out the money this weekend. Um, let's say it was four seventeen, and then you can see down here that's remaining zero. So I'm gonna track that expense. And so what happened was for our envelope for health and dental, 
grr, <laughs> I was really interrupted and talking to myself for a couple of minutes until I realized that I met, I met the maximum amount of time for recording and therefore I wasn't being recorded anymore. Yay! <laughs> so when I got rudely cut off, I was talking about how I paid a health bill for two hundred five thirty four. And that's right here. Oh, I wrote it wrong. See, good thing I'm going back. But it was 205.34, the health bill. And what I did was I did 15.34 that I just put, that I took out of, um, or that I'm putting on here. Okay, because I paid 205.34 from our uh, debit card, right? So I took $190 cash from the envelope that I had and then um, 1534 on here and I what I did is take the 190 cash and allocate it to the other cash envelopes instead of taking that 417 out in total I took out less than that and just used that 190 to fund the other ones hopefully that makes sense please let me know below if that makes absolutely no sense at all but <laughs> I assure you it works <laughs> So after that, I was talking about how I was just making sure that my planned and received amount is the same. And so I just made sure that these were the same and that these were the same. And then I had some leftover money, money to allocate. So um, what I did was I also zeroed out this, just looked at how much I actually spent. I had budgeted 160, so we still had like $70 left. So zeroed out that, um, spent a little over in groceries, a little over in restaurants, and 15 cents over in drinks. Zeroed out those, went over in household, but then I was under in both of our personal, uh, personal accounts there, or spending, and then our school supplies, that was under as well. So I could have put in the restaurants in there instead, but Either or, I still had left over money, so what I did is just take it and put it towards uh, debt here. So, um, and then, oh, I still have this to zero out as well. Oops. Forty-nine seventy-three. And then everything should be zero now. So I have 27 cents. What I just did while that wasn't recording was I paid 1400 on the student loans. Is it, it is an exact amount, but um, I will put, you know, whatever money that we have left over that's like a few bucks. I will just keep in our checking account and it will roll over to the next month. And when I did my payment, I realized I really only have like $300 left of one of my smaller student loans. So that's super exciting. So let's zero this out. And oddly enough, that gives $18.90 left to budget. That's actually really strange. If you remember, 1890 was how much I got back from school supplies. That's weird. All right. Anyway, that 1890 will just go towards, you know, next month. So if I look at everything correctly, everything should be zeros except for like the savings accounts. Um, and I'm going through. And it looks good. So this month I paid off $2,519.38 on student loans, which was 47% of our income. Super awesome. I can't imagine like how much we'll be able to put towards savings when we are done kicking the student loan butt. So sorry this video was so long. I had a lot of transactions to go through, but I'm hoping that you get to see a little bit more of everydollar.com and how I do budgeting. So let me know if you have any questions below, and I hope you guys are prepared for November, and I will catch you all soon in my next video. Bye.